Well howdy everyone and welcome to the first of my lens reviews for Canon's mirrorless EOS M system. It's not the most popular mirrorless system out there by a long shot, but I'm using an EOS M3 camera for my other tests so I thought I'd take a look at its native mirrorless lenses, not that there are many of them. Anyway, first up, today I'm taking a look at the very neat little EFM 22mm f2 STM lens. It costs around £180 or about $250. Like all lenses designed for mirrorless cameras, this will not work on a digital SLR camera unless you're prepared to do some serious hacking. It will only work on Canon's mirrorless cameras, which at first glance could be quite a shame as the lens's parameters look really interesting. The 22mm focal length is the full frame equivalent of 35mm, making this a perfect lens for general purpose shooting. Wide angle enough to get the bigger picture, but not so wide that you can't pick out your subject a little bit. Also the lens has a fast maximum aperture of f2, meaning it can let in quite a lot of light for shooting indoors or at night time, and it can give you somewhat out of focus backgrounds too. But despite that fast aperture, the most obvious selling point is its size. I believe this is the smallest pancake lens Canon have ever made, smaller even than their 40mm and 24mm offerings. The lens is tiny and that makes it a good fit for Canon's EOS M cameras which are pretty tiny in themselves. Say what you want about Canon's EOS M system and it is admittedly a bit clunky at the moment, but it's certainly petite. I have a real soft spot for pancake lenses and this one seems to be very nicely made. It's built on a metal lens mount and this one is a dark gunmetal grey colour, made of plastics but looking very nice. The focus ring is not too small at all and turns quite smoothly. The focus mechanism is fully electronic, using one of Canon's STM autofocus motors. The autofocus works at an average speed but it is very quiet indeed, quieter than Canon's other recent pancake lenses. When you're focusing manually, the focus ring is quite responsive, so that's another bonus. The lens does not have image stabilisation. Look at that tiny front element, it's hard to believe this is really an f2 aperture lens. The front filter thread is a very tiny 43mm and it is possible to buy separately a metal lens hood from Canon. This is one of the most questionable lens hoods I've ever seen. It will actually give you a few extra degrees of protection from sunlight, but that's about it. Still, overall, the lens is very nice. Alright then, let's look at image quality. My EOS M3 camera has a 24 megapixel sensor, which is high enough resolution to pose a serious challenge to just about any camera lens. With the aperture wide open at f2 though, the good news is that this lens is extremely sharp in the middle of your images, with very good contrast. You can see just a smidgen of purple fringing here, but nothing at all to really worry about. The lens remains nice and sharp until we reach the very corners of the image frame where we definitely can see some softness, albeit nothing too disastrous. Stop down to f2.8 for a nice improvement in sharpness and contrast in those corners, and at f5.6 the corners are as sharp as you're going to get. When you stop down to f11, a little softness is creeping in due to the effects of diffraction and all the way down to f22, unsurprisingly, the diffraction is too much and the lens is soft. Overall though, considering that we're working on a 24 megapixel camera, the lens is putting in a pretty respectable performance and image quality in the middle of your images will always be superb. Let's see then about distortion and vignetting. The good news is that the lens projects almost no distortion. The camera isn't correcting anything here, there really is no distortion. The bad news is that at f2 there is some horrendous vignetting, with very dark corners indeed. The simple answer to this is just to turn on peripheral illumination on your camera, which will get rid of most of it at a small cost in image quality, although you'll still notice a little darkness right in the edges. At f2.8 that is pushed back further and at f4 with peripheral illumination turned on we see even brightness. Let's take a look now at close up image quality. The lens can focus nice and closely down to about 15cm. 
At f2, the close-up image quality remains fairly sharp, although we are seeing a little more colour fringing here. Stop down to f2.8 though for excellent sharpness and a clean image. Let's see how the lens performs against bright light. As you can see, we have some soft flaring, so technically it's not a good performance here, but it does at least look quite pretty, and it's only present when the bright lights are directly in the image frame. Finally, bokeh. The lens's fast aperture means that you can get somewhat out of focus backgrounds here. Those backgrounds often look a bit busy and unattractive, as you can see here, but when things are deeply out of focus, they can look quite smooth. Overall, the Canon 22mm f2 has one or two optical flaws, but in practice, I found it to be a fantastic lens to use. It's so tiny, and its focal length and maximum aperture make it so useful. The images it can get are very sharp with good contrast, and it's quite good value for money. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to see that if you have a Canon EOS M camera, then this is simply an obvious choice, which I highly recommend.